Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys 10 different apps um, for college students. These are 10 apps that I feel like are essential for college students. They help with productivity or saving money, making money, anything that I feel like every college student should have. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Ruby. I am a 21 year old college lifestyle and beauty blogger. Um, I am actually my senior year of college and these are a couple of apps that I've been using. Um, some of them are pretty new but some of them I've been using since freshman year um, so definitely stay tuned for this video comment down below if you guys plan on using any of these apps or if you guys already have some of these apps on your phone I'll put my Instagram right here for you guys to follow me I'm super active on Instagram but without further ado let's get on to the video first app that you guys definitely should download um, as a college student is an app that actually pays you for walking so I talked to you guys about this in a couple of videos now I think this is my second video I'm mentioning this but you guys this app literally is just so amazing like it's it's mind-blowing to me that you can make money for just walking I talked to you guys in my a previous vlog saying that I downloaded the app I think like two years ago and I completely forgot about it I downloaded the app when I was researching ways to make money online and I filmed uh, five apps that five apps to make or save money video i'll put like a picture of it on the screen here really well in views i'm so happy about that but i downloaded this app and i forgot to go back on it and then i came back to it a couple of weeks ago and um i made a thousand dollars off of just walking and because i didn't go on the app in two years i never like redeemed the money so it was just all racking up but it was still I, it was all racking up because i was walking obviously with my phone but i just didn't Thing to go back to the app so when i got back on the app i think i had 164,000 steps um from the past like two years or something like that and i was able to cash out on two thousand um i said two thousand on a thousand dollars so basically the way it works is um a certain amount of steps equals to one coin and um a certain amount of coins equal to a dollar so depending on how many steps you make how many coins you get it then all converts into um cash that you're able to redeem through paypal all of it is legit i put um it on my story i don't know if you guys saw it if i'm able to retrieve it and if i have time i'll put it on the screen here but definitely download that app i'll put the link to that in the description bar down below the link below will give you five coins for free so definitely check out the app you guys it's bomb like literally i was just so surprised i'm still shook about the fact that i made a thousand dollars just for walking like are you kidding me but the next apps i have for you guys i've talked to you guys about so many times it's dosh and ibotta i'll put the links to both of those in the description bar down below to make sure you guys download it basically it helps you save money on things that you already buy um you put your debit card um information into the app and basically anytime you um for example if, for example, if I go to Target, um, if I use the card that I put into the app, it will basically take um, send me money back or give me cash back for um, using my card at Target or Starbucks or um, there's a whole bunch of different places, BBQs. There's a list of places, you guys, that um, work with Dosh and Ibotta. All the money is saved up and you're able to cash out with PayPal. It's honestly amazing. Like. You don't even have to think about it. All you have to do is put your card information in and they'll start sending you money just for using your card at specific places. And they're stopping places. Another app that I forgot to include is the Digit app. I talked about this in a vlog and I mentioned it on my story as well. So many people have been downloading it and thanking me. Basically, um, for people that find it difficult to save money, um, this app allows, basically saves the money for you. So it takes out like a... A small amount of money like a couple of dollars um, every day or so and puts it into your savings account but it takes out small amounts so that you're not able to see the change in your bank account but you're still saving at the same time so it's very 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 convenient if you're trying to save for something or just trying to start a savings account altogether I'll put the link in the description bar down below another great feature about this app that I honestly love is every morning at around 9 a.m. they text me with how much money I have in my checkings account and I can text them back saying recent or why and it'll tell me what I spent my money last on so that keep, kind of keeps you in check with um, what's going on with your checking account how you're spending your money and stuff like that perfect for budgeting so another app that I have for you guys is an app that I wish I knew about when I was when I was taking math classes. Actually, because I'm a pre-med student, my course requirements didn't really um, call for a lot of math, but we did have physics. And um, my physics class, what other class did I have that had a lot of math? Chemistry 2 had a lot of math in it. 
um, I already got college credit for statistics in high school and um, I took calculus as well but with Mathway you guys are able to take a picture of an equation and it'll give you the answer simple as that download the app I promise you you will not regret it <laughs> Obviously, I'm not telling you guys to use that to cheat, but you guys can use that to check your answers. Um, you guys know, getting good grades in college is very essential, so you don't want to be doing guess and check. Like, honestly, homework is, is meant for you to practice, but you're not supposed to be getting questions wrong on homework. So, um, definitely, try the homework definitely try the homework equation by yourself first. I'm not telling you guys to use this to cheat, but you guys want to get a good grade. So practice the equation first, check your answers with the app, and then if you get it wrong, you'll know why you got it wrong after you get the answer. So yeah, definitely check that app out. And also another app that, I don't know, if, is this an app? Wolfram Alpha. Basically, it's similar to Mathway um, because it'll give you the answer to an equation. But, and these are like, these are hard equations you guys can use as well. So definitely for like anyone taking like, higher level math classes don't be afraid to try the app out either um but wolfram alpha um it's really really cool as well there's definitely an app for wolfram alpha but you're able to do the same thing but i don't know if you're able to take a picture but you can type in an equation and it'll give you step by step how to answer it and like what you need to do so my computer my math and computational methods of science class that i took my sophomore year of college um we had a lot of math equations to do like a lot was a lot of statistics and a lot of calculus in that class and it helped me so much because you guys know teachers oftentimes ask for your work and they want to know how you got to the answer so it will tell you step by step how you got the answer that is bomb you guys like definitely download that app and thank me later <laughs> after you guys definitely should have is um your school's portal app we use blackboard um so i have the blackboard app on my phone and i love it because it has like a lot of information that you definitely need on a day-to-day -day basis on there um and a lot of people only use it on their laptop but i feel like um having it on your phone is very convenient as well because you're able to check your grades um you're able to check um any other like important information that they have on there and they give you notifications as well for example if your class is canceled a lot of the times the teacher emails you through blackboard you'll get a notification through blackboard um, on your phone saying the class is canceled so you don't have to waste your time walking to class and finding out that class is canceled when you see nobody's in there so definitely download that app you guys it has a lot of great benefits another app that i think is very important for college students to have is called um semesterly basically it's an app that allows you to put in your class schedule but it's really cool because you're able to type in your university and it'll give you a list of all the classes that are going to be offered as long um, along with the time so that it's easier for you to put the um like classes into your schedule this is perfect for like this time of the semester where you're planning for next semester remember like when i was trying to register for classes or whatever like it will be so annoying having to type in the time and then having to figure out if i have another class during that time and it's just like really annoying so, so you're basically able to like flip you're able to put in the classes that you have to take that semester and basically click like this button that will show you different like configurations of times where you can take the um, class that you need to take. For example, if I already have my schedule made and I only have one more class left um, that I have to put into my schedule, it will allow you to click a button that will put it on, put the class time for that last class in different sections so for example if i have one from one o'clock to 4 p.m free it will allow me to put that class at one from one to 4 p.m but if i have class from 5 to 6 p.m it won't allow me to pick um i won't be able to like pick that time if that makes sense so it kind of saves you the trouble this that i feel like everybody should have on their phone is quizlet you guys know um i'm a very avid studier you guys know that i'm always looking for different study tips um different study strategies and i love quizlet like literally i put all of my notes into quizlet and i love it that it has and i love that it has an app because i'm able to use it while i'm in an uber and a train um waiting from class to class without having to like carry up carry around a whole stack of index cards and um, with Quizlet you're able to like screenshot pictures or save pictures and put it on the Quizlet as well and it also has um, like many exam like has many quizzes and test preparation multiple choice questions that it creates out of your notes so definitely download Quizlet it's super easy to use as well like you're able to just copy and paste like stuff from a PowerPoint or whatever and put it into a Quizlet and it helps you with memorization so definitely download Quizlet the next app the next app that you guys should definitely take use of I say take use of instead of download because this app actually comes with your phone it's the voice recording app 
um, or voice, voice memos app. This app I use for to help me when I'm studying. I record all of my class sessions, you guys. I record all of my lectures so that I'm able to listen to it back while I'm studying or it's writing my notes over. It's honestly a game changer, especially for teachers that talk really, really fast or teachers that have accents. That you, It's kind of hard for you to understand what's going on sometimes. For classes that you feel like you're really slow in, um, it's honestly perfect because you're able to pause, rewind, fast forward classes, and like basically just go back and forth until you get all the information that you need down. So definitely download voice memos. I mean, not not download it. Use voice memos for um, help with studying. All right, so the next apps that I'm going to mention is going to be all in the same category because it's all under um, Google. I love all of Google's extensions. Google Calendar, I love. Um, you guys know that I'm a very avid planner and I... Um, have a uh, I have a Google Calendar that I've been updating for the past four years now since um, I think my very first video or like my very first content video was a college organization video. Love Google Calendar, you guys. Like literally, I'll put a picture of my calendar right here. I put in everything in there, like my class schedule, exam dates, um, my YouTube schedule, business schedule. Everything goes inside my Google Calendar, and I love it because I'm able to access it on my phone as well, and it gives me notifications. Um, it's super super easy to use. Um, so Google Calendar, I also have my Gmail app on my phone um, for similar reasons as Blackboard. I need to get my notifications for emails through my phone um, so just in case I don't have my laptop at the time and I'm just not, you know, you're not going through your Gmail um, or email all the time so have, getting notifications for important emails is honestly slow clutch sometimes. Um, especially when you're on the go all the time, it's honestly amazing. I use Google Docs, Google Slides, um, Google Sheets. Those are the alternatives for Microsoft Word, um, Microsoft PowerPoint, and Microsoft Excel because um, I am a YouTuber. I have to use a lot of space on my laptop, so I don't like having to save any documents on my laptop that will take up space. With Google, you're able to keep everything on, on a specific internet hard drive that you can basically keep at all times. Everything I've done since I've been in college is saved on my Google Drive and I don't have to worry about my laptop crashing or my laptop getting lost and losing all of my documents. So Google Drive is amazing and similar to Google Calendar I'm able to pull it up on my laptop. I mean I'm able to pull it up on my phone as well as my laptop so that comes in clutch. The next app that I have for you guys is called Trello. This is a productivity app. Um, I actually use this for a lot of different things. I use this for my business, YouTube, as well as academics. So basically I love this app because it's like a visual to-do list create cards and create different lists of cards um i don't know if you guys remember but um i actually started doing it actually again recently but i used to have um last semester like an ongoing list of postcards i'm um, not postcards post-its on my wall and i'll have one section um to do and then after i finish doing it i'll take the post-it and put it on the other side and that's my completed side so on trello you're able to actually do that online or on your um on your phone so you'll have like a title of like for example um research paper and underneath that you can start creating cards for different parts of the research paper up until when it's due and I'll, you'll also be able to give yourself due dates for each part so i love using trello you guys for academics um for example, for my research paper, I put I have a cancer cell research paper due on May 15th. So I would put cancer cell research paper due May 15th on the top of it. And then underneath it, I'll put in, um, for example, write outline, um, confirm outline, like confirm it by my teacher, um, research, like a whole bunch of different to-do lists underneath that title. And it's honestly really, really cool. I just like having, being able to look at it and seeing what I have to do left and when you're finished with it you can just move the card off and honestly I really love Trello you guys and I use it for YouTube uh, I saw you guys already I use it for YouTube and my businesses as well if you guys would like a video specifically on apps you need for um, being a YouTuber or an entrepreneur definitely comment down down below and I got you guys I have so many apps on my phone it's actually ridiculous so yeah definitely not ask, definitely comment that down below if that would be something you're interested in Another app that I have for you guys is called Block Distracting Websites. Basically, this app um, blocks out distracting websites, um, such as like it has a whole bunch of different websites you can do, you can block out, such as Facebook, um, Instagram, YouTube, anything like that. It basically blocks it out for a certain amount of time. It helps with productivity. Um, it helps you from getting distracted while you're doing your work or studying. 
Um, another app along those lines is called Forest. Um, basically, it's a Pomodoro type of app. I don't know if you guys know what that means, but um, Pomo Pomodoro, the purpose of this Pomodoro technique is for you to, to do one specific thing for 25 minutes before you switch to something else. And the way Forest works, it basically doesn't allow you to leave um, the app throughout the whole 25 minutes and um, it's called forest because during those 25 minutes you're growing a tree if you cancel out the app you kill the tree um, so it allows you to see how many tre trees you're able to grow and it's just really really cool I like the concept of it and um, I think that's basically it I don't know how many apps that was I didn't really count but I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video if you guys would like to see business um, apps that you guys should download or YouTube related apps you should download definitely comment that down below if you guys want any other college related videos make sure you guys let me know as well and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys